Hey guys, welcome to Bowhunting Soul. Okay, so I'm just out here this morning at the range. It's about, I don't know, it's almost six o'clock. I've been here for about an hour and I've been shooting. And I just wanted to make a quick video on the importance of making sure that you constantly check your knock height. Now knock height obviously is the height above, you know, if you put an arrow across, right? It's the, let's do this. It's the height that your arrow is knocked on the string higher than your rest okay so on this one i've got i don't know i haven't i haven't remeasured here because i just adjusted it so i'm using a bare weather rest right here i'm not shooting right off the shelf so if you're shooting um off of a elevated rest like this well this rest is amazing i love this thing i have a video on it before uh you can go check those out this it really smoothed out the flight on this on this uh, 59 kodiak but what ends up happening with a bare weather rest if you can notice i don't know if you can focus on that See how this wears down? See how it's kind of like dished? Okay, so what will happen over time is this will wear down. Well, when this wears down, it actually ends up tipping your arrow down, effectively raising, raising your knock height back here. Okay, even though you haven't touched this, this goes down and it tips your arrow down. So I noticed that I wasn't getting uh, the best arrow flight this morning. Uh, sometimes you really need to see it on like a big background, kind of white, uh, background target to kind of see what you, you know your whole arrow is doing um, I've been shooting in my basement a bunch and it's you know not as well lit down there and it's on like a, on a black target so um, anyway just make sure what you do then when you come out to these you know to a place like this and you got a nice white background that you're shooting against watch that arrow flight and see if it's doing anything wonky so this morning it was kind of doing a little bit of uh, knock high uh, just just a little bit it wasn't it wasn't the most most cleanest flight or maybe it was kind of like tipping down at, at, at the nose and um, I thought okay well obviously my knock height which I've set before you know I mean I, I, I constantly set these things uh, it, it, it must have moved well I know the knock height didn't move because these are on these are crimped on pretty tight and I know they don't they don't slide I have them on tight enough however that um, they're not going to slide up and down but they are enough that I can by hand it's really hard to do turn them so it, it goes up and down the serving okay so I can turn it and go move it up or move it down by turning my brass uh, knocking points okay so all I really did then was I turned it down so I think on this one it is you got to look at the which way the threads go so on this one if I'm looking down on it, it's like counterclockwise, so we'll kind of spiral down this way. And all I really did was to get to get my arrow flight back was, I mean, I literally turned this maybe one and a half, maybe two times around total. I mean, all it did was go down just a little bit, and that just a little bit will actually make a difference, believe it or not. So there you go. Uh, just a little quick tip for you. Always keep checking your knock height. Always keep watching out for arrow flight and, uh, you know, figuring if stuff, stuff's changed, if your brace height's changed, any of that stuff. But this is a typical problem, I guess. Now, um, they do sell this um, uh, Teflon tape. I just got it in, actually. I have not applied it. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm going to figure out how to do it, and then I'll do, I'll do a video on it. So, um, you know, it goes around it, and it's kind of like a hard hard wear tape that, that keeps that you know that it, all but from what i'm told uh aaron snyder's talked about it it all but eliminates um wear on that so you don't have to worry about the thing going down but if you're not doing that keep checking this all right so thanks for watching